Hello and welcome to our video solutions for quiz 6 from our Spring 21 Math 250A, which is Calculus 3. And in this video, we're going to look at our solution to problem 1, where we're going to be using Green's theorem to evaluate a line integral in a different way. So the important thing here is if you uh, have a line integral around a uh, a curve, which is, well, as we said here, traverse once with positive orientation, which you recall, remember the positive orientation means as you move around the curve, the inside of the region should be on the left. So uh, when you're in that situation and you have nice uh, continuity assumptions, which are all going to hold very easily here, then we know that the line integral of the vector field f over c is going to be the same thing as the double integral over the region bounded by C. So often we'll give this a name like D or something, or if we don't want to give it a new name, we'll use this generic, um, it looks like a partial derivative sign, but we put a little inverse to say, instead of taking the boundary of a region, uh, now we're actually taking a curve and this, this inverse boundary is basically saying, what's the region inside the closed curve? And instead of having the vector field over here, we, we take the curl, right? This is the 2D curl of the vector field, dA. So if we want to use Green's theorem to convert this into a double integral, well, there we just did. So we just need to compute this curl, and we'll have to compute this, this region uh, bounded by the curve C. So let's see. First, we'll compute the curl. So the curl we'll recall is if we label the components by P and Q, right? So the components of F are, are two, just functions of two variables, so P and Q, then the curl is given by taking the partial derivative of Q and subtracting, uh, with that is with respect to X, and you subtract the partial derivative of P with respect to Y. So in this case, the partial derivative of Q with respect to X is actually just going to be one, and then we'll subtract, let's see, the partial derivative of p with respect to y is going to be 2x. All right, so I'm going to be able to replace this curl with 1 minus 2x. Okay, that's not too shabby. And now we need to figure out how to write down uh, this region bounded by the curve c. So we want all this, this purple region here, and we're going to write it as, say, a type x region. So... Let's see, the region bounded by C is going to be all points X and Y where, well, we can see since this is uh, the square root of X and X squared, they're going to intersect at 0 and at 1. So the X coordinate is going to go everywhere between 0 and 1. And a Y coordinate, well, a Y coordinate for any particular X, right, you can go up and down, anywhere between this lower curve and the upper curve. And the the only thing you have to determine is which one is which. Now, hopefully you recall that a parabola, right, x squared is a parabola, is going to be concave up. And so that x squared should actually be on the bottom, right, which means that the square root of x is going to be on the top. Alternatively, you should also know that when you take numbers between 0 and 1, and raise them to higher powers, so like say x to the fifth versus x cubed, the higher powers are actually going to be smaller than the lower powers. So between zero and one, x to the fifth is actually less than x cubed, which is a little bit weird. So in this case, of course, the square root of x is the same as x to the one half power. And so between zero and one, that will actually be greater than x squared. So either way, we figure out that the root x is the upper bound on the y coordinate, and the x squared is the lower bound. So we have that x squared is less than or equal to y is less than or equal to the square root of x. All right, well, this allows us now to convert our double integral into an iterated integral. So we're going to integrate x from 0 to 1, and then y from x squared to the square root of x. And now we can replace curl of f with uh, 1 minus 2x. And we'll have dy dx. OK, this shouldn't be so bad now. Uh, let's see. When we integrate with respect to uh, this uh, y, we're going to get y 
minus 2xy. And we'll evaluate that between x squared and the square root of x. Okay, let's see. Uh, at the square root of x, we're going to get, well, the square root of x minus, okay, 2x times the square root of x. And maybe it's going to be good at some point to convert this to exponential notation. Okay, then we're going to subtract what happens at x squared. So we'll get x squared minus 2x times x squared. That'll be 2x cubed. Okay, and then all of this will be by dx. All right, so our little our region here is getting in the way. So let's let's make that a little bit smaller. Get it out of the way. All right, and let's see what's next now. Um, since I'm going to be integrating. Uh, I'm going to put everything in, in terms of powers here, so we'll just do one more quick step. So we'll have x to the 1 half minus 2x to the 3 halves minus x squared plus 2x cubed dx. Okay, so let's see. We'll make a little bit of room. When I integrate, uh, let's see, 1 half, add 1 to that, I get 3 halves, so I get 2 thirds x to the 3 halves minus, okay, we add 1 to 3 halves, and we get 5 halves. So 2 fifths times 2 is 4 fifths, x to the 5 halves, uh, minus x cubed over 3, plus, let's see, add 1 to 3, you get 4, so 2 fourths, which is a half, x to the 4th, and x goes between 0 and 1. And nicely, at 0, everything's going to die, so we only care about it at 1, and so we get 2 thirds minus 4 fifths, minus one third plus one half. And okay, this is just a basic arithmetic that we don't want to really care about doing so much. And so we're going to stop it right there. Um, should we? Oh, no, you know what? Let's let's actually let's do it because we actually know what the answer should be. So let's check. So first, two thirds and one third, that makes one third. Um, one third and one half is five six. So I have five six minus four fifths which is 25 minus 24 is 1 over 30. Hey, we did get the right thing. Yeah. So normally, yeah, I just I would probably just leave it in this form. But yeah, since we actually were given a specific answer, yeah, let's verify that it actually works. Okay, so hopefully this is helpful. Take care. Bye-bye now.